Hey guys, it's Natasha and welcome to Natasha's Creations. Happy Women's History Month. I know I missed International Women's Day, but I wanted to take this video to talk about my top five favorite famous women that I look up to, I guess. This list is not exhaustive. There are people who almost made it onto this list, but I wanted to stick with just five. So without further ado, let's get started. First person on my list is Taylor Swift. And I don't care if that's basic. I've been a Swifty since I was 12. And that's saying something because it's one thing to be a fan of someone as a kid and then just forget they exist for a while. It's another to consistently be a fan of someone for 14 years. And anyone who can hold on to fame for that long deserves to be on this list. Like other people on this list, Taylor Swift is a self-made millionaire. She started writing and recording hit songs when she was just a child, and her music has always been universal. She was never marketed as a child star. Even as a teenager, her music really spoke to adults. As a woman, she has openly stood up to and spoken up against the music industry and the entertainment industry in general whenever there's any kind of injustice. And she's paved the way for a lot of young female artists. And she's just a master storyteller. Like, I don't even have a favorite Taylor Swift song because everything she writes is just universal. And she has a song for every occasion, every mood, every season of your life. She's just that gifted. Selena Quintanilla, the queen of Tejano music. She's the only one on this list who is no longer with us, but I think she's modern enough to be included. Especially because there's that two-part biopic about her that's popular on Netflix right now. And of course, there is the famous Jennifer Lopez movie about her. I love both the movie and the show, and my mom had a few of her CDs, so I listened to a lot of Selena growing up. Selena is a legend. She started singing at a really young age, basically singing perfectly in both English and Spanish before she even really spoke Spanish. And she was one of the best-selling female artists in Latin music and one of the most influential Latin artists of all time. She completely took the world of Tejano music by storm, which is saying something because that was a male-dominated genre. She really wanted to break into the English pop genre. That was her dream, and I think she did record one album in English, but unfortunately she died before her dreams of being a pop star could really come true. Selena tragically died at the age of 23 in March 1995 when she was shot by the president of her fan club. Kristen Bell is on here because she is a mental health icon and I love that. I know she's an actress but I haven't actually seen a lot of her movies and TV shows though she is really good as Anna on Frozen. She's here because she's been very open about her struggles with depression and anxiety and she's done a lot to try to end the stigma around mental health. She's always advocating for therapy and talking a lot about her own experiences with therapy and she's very open about her experiences as a mom and a wife and all the struggles that go along with that. Her one goal in life seems to be to make the world a better place and to make people's lives easier. She is an animal lover who works with the ASPCA and other animal protecting nonprofits. She's a humanitarian who's involved with Invisible Children Inc. and other youth-oriented organizations. And she and her husband Dax have started a plant-based baby care product line that is environmentally friendly, premium, and affordable. Jenna Marbles, the queen of YouTube. Jenna Mori, also known as Jenna Marbles, was one of the first people to be considered a YouTuber. And I know that a lot of people don't have a lot of respect for social media stars, for good reason, but Jenna really was a self-made millionaire and a trailblazer. And she's become famous just for being herself. She quit YouTube last year and she still has over 20 million subscribers. Jenna Marbles is relatable. She went to college and got her bachelor's and her master's, which she never used. She worked a bunch of odd jobs to pay the rent for a while until she stumbled upon YouTube, where she made skits and vlogs just documenting her everyday life and her four dogs. She's been called an unproblematic queen, and while no one can be 100% unproblematic and it's really unfair to put that kind of pressure on her, her audience has gotten to see her grow and mature as a person as her YouTube career has also grown, which is why her leaving last year was so sad. 
And Jenna is just a content creator in general. Besides her YouTube channel, she also ran a podcast with her boyfriend Julian and hosted a radio show on Sirius XM. And she's also released a brand of dog toys. My favorite Jenna Marbles quote is, people associate being lost with something bad. Fear is bad, confusion is bad, failure is bad, but it's not, it's life. Because the way I see it, no one ever knows what they're doing, ever. And I think that really summarizes her career and why people gravitate towards her. And the last person on this list is Jenny Lorenzo, my newest favorite content creator. She's also pretty self-made. My favorite quote from her is, I'm a firm believer that you are in charge of your own success. If people aren't giving you the opportunity, you have to take it into your own hands and do it your freaking self. And someone will take notice. Jenny started her career on BuzzFeed, co-founding the show Better Like, and she's also worked on We Are Me Too, which is a digital media company representing the Latin point of view among millennials. But she became really famous creating skits on her own channel, starring her abuela character and a whole cast of other characters that she's created. Her videos are all commentaries on being a first-generation Cuban American and a geeky 90s kid. She also has an amazing podcast called Hyphenated with Joanna Hausman, which is all about living in the hyphen between being American and Latin. And I really like her content because it's super relatable and it validates my experiences. And there's a lot of otherism in the Hispanic community, like, you know, I'm Puerto Rican, you're Dominican, you're weird, or like, Mexicans are like this and Cubans are like that, or even you weren't born in your mother country, so you're not actually Hispanic. But Jenny makes content that's relatable to everyone and includes everybody, and I really appreciate that. She's also the voice of Lupe on Cartoon Network's Victor and Valentino and the co-host of What's Up Disney Plus. So that's my list of my top five women that I look up to. I hope you enjoyed this list. If you did, please like and subscribe and tune in two weeks from now for another video. Thanks for watching.